Let us understand how to create Cloudera Quick Start VM using Docker. Cloudera is an enterprise platform where I can solve any of the big data problems and uh, get that deployed within the cloud. But to try various components within the Cloudera or various components within the Hadoop ecosystem, Cloudera provides a VM option where it can be deployed in a single system. As a part of downloads, I can download Cloudera Quick Start VM either for the VirtualBox or for VMware or for KVM or for a Docker. And deploying it as a Docker, it gives additional advantage where it can be executed as a container. I don't need to make any configuration changes in a single command or with a minimal command, I should be in a position to get the VM up and running. I'm going to use the AWS Cloud to start a Ubuntu operating system. I'm going to use the Cloudera Quick Start Docker image and get this particular image deployed within the AWS Cloud. For this, I am going to start a Ubuntu 14 version and long-term support from AWS. Let me get into the AWS where I'll be starting an instance. Let me go ahead and start an instance. I'll go ahead and choose Ubuntu version 14. So here I do have the version for the long-term support. Let me go ahead and select. And it gives me an option to choose various operating systems as well as different sizes of machines where I'm going to start with. I have selected Ubuntu 14.04. I'll go ahead and select a machine with a different capacity. I'm going to select a machine with say 16 GB RAM and four core processor so that it's going to be much faster to start. I'll provide the instance details. I'm going to request for one instance. I'll provide all other values as default. Storage, I'll make it as 40 GB. I'll add tag to it. I'll just give a name. I'll configure the security group. I'll go ahead and create a new security group. I'll open only the ports, the TCP ports that are required, or I can go ahead and generically open all the ports only for my IP address. For security purpose, I'll be opening only for my IP address so that no one else will be in a position to communicate with this particular instance. Or otherwise, I can have a list of ports and open only those ports. The review and launch, I'm going to launch an instance. It's going to ask me what key to use. Either I can use any of the existing key that I have within my account, or I can go ahead and create a new key and use that key for this specific instance. I'll launch the instance. And the instance should be up and running within few minutes. So it's pending, it'll get started within few minutes. The instance is up and running. I can copy the public DNS. I'll provide the IP address in the host name. And in the data, I'll provide the username as Ubuntu. And uh, I will provide the key with which I have logged in. So I'm going to provide the host name, how the window should appear. Let me make it a little bigger. And uh, what is the default username with which I should log into the system? And what is the key I should use to log into the system? I'm able to log into the machine. I'm into a machine where I can do whatever I want as long as legal. As so a first thing, I'm going to upgrade all the packages available within the system and there are no updates to be done. I need the Docker installation. So let me go ahead and do the installation of Docker. Docker installation is done. Now I need the image of Cloudera Quick Start. And the same commands, whatever that I am executing over here, is available as a part of this particular help or the installation instructions of the Cloudera Quick Start image. Let me go ahead and uh, pull the Cloudera Quick Start image. It's going to be around 4.5 GB of content that would get downloaded into this particular machine. I can check what are all the images available. So I do have the Cloudera Quick Start image and uh, this is what the image ID is. I can start this image. Before that, let's have a quick high level understanding on what happened till now. So what I did, I started a t3.xlarge VM within the AWS cloud. It had dedicated amount of resources in terms of 60 GB of RAM and X amount of hard disk capacity. On top of it, we had Ubuntu operating system, 14.04 version. On top of it, I installed Docker. 
Now I have the image of Cloudera Quick Start. What I can do, I can start this Cloudera Quick Start image. While starting, I need to provide information on how that particular image should behave in terms of what are the ports it's going to interact with this particular VM and uh, what port in the Quick Start Docker, the what port in the container that's going to get attached to what port within the VM. So all those informations I will provide and I'll start this particular Docker image. Let me go ahead and start Docker run and the host name of the container that's going to get started will be this and uh, the other options in terms of whether it should have all the permission to start the roles and what port should get attached to the underlying host machine that is the port WW8 of the container will get attached to the WW8 of the underlying host and the way this particular quick start command available I will get this started so the docker image is started now I should be in a position to attach to this particular docker image I have provided the option of dash D that will make this particular image to run in the background now I can go ahead and uh, attach this particular ID let me list what are all the dockers that are running within this particular system so I do have an image so this is the container ID I'm going to attach to this particular container to access any commands or to access any features available within the docker I need to access the container so let me go ahead and attach I'll provide the docker ID and say attach so whatever that is happening within the docker that will get logged into the same terminal now what I have done, I have attached this particular terminal into the docker terminal and I can see what is happening, I can access the commands, so anything available within it. So the entire quick start VM will get started, that's going to start all the services and I'll be in a position to access any of the services that got started. So all the required services should have got started. I can access the public URL and provide the IP address. I can access the container using the public DNS and the port WW8. Since the WW8 port of the VM is attached to the WW8 port of the container and that's where a service called the hue that's going to run. It has a default user ID password called Cloudera Cloudera. It provides various options to access various components are available within the Hadoop ecosystem that is the Cloudera Quick Start VM I can access through this particular UI interface. This is called Hadoop user experience. In short, we call it as Hue. And in the same system, the Cloudera Quick Start VM, I do have a MySQL installed that is being internally used by the Cloudera. For any of the MySQL requirements, I can make use of it. I can log into the MySQL using the command MySQL user as root and password Cloudera. And it is running locally in the same container where the Cloudera Quick Start VM is running and I'll be in a position to connect. I can provide the user ID, password and the host and I'll be in a position to connect to the MySQL and I can create any more additional database for any of the demo purpose I can make use of this MySQL database. So in a summary starting the docker and making it up and running will facilitate us to try out various components available as a part of Cloudera. Additional to this the other biggest advantage is once I am done with the demo what I can do, I can stop this particular instance and keep it. I don't need to redo the same configuration, I can stop this instance and whenever I want, I can start the same instance again and uh, I can start those containers and get that demo done. And that's going to reduce the billing. I don't need to keep this particular server running forever and uh, I'll be paying only whenever the server is running. If I am done with the entire process, what I can do, I can terminate this particular instance to avoid the billing happening in my account. So if I feel if I am done with all the demo, what I can do, I can select that instance and terminate as well. So the entire resources allocated for this particular VM in my account would get terminated and no further charges would happen into my account.